So as you're writing your code and you've gotten all of your items, your modules, your tools designed to a point where you're satisfied and everything looks and behaves the way you want, you've got your, your cache size low and your um, number of elements are low and everything's processing the way you want, it's a good time to go through and clean up the code that you no longer use. So when you design a lot of parts and you know you're not going to call them anymore because you've created a better part, um, at this point, you want to really do some damage and take a look at the object file that you're making. Um, one thing to do first is update the date at which you made the file. Okay. And then um, go back and say, when we call chisel point, we're using chisel point. When we call chisel blank, do we use chisel blank? And really ask yourself, are we even using the square chisel anymore? And if you look in the chisel cutter, yes, but do we use chisel cutter anymore? No, we've moved to cut. So we can delete chisel cutter. Mm -hmm. And then when we go to chisel butcher, we're no longer using that module either. Right, we've made a much simpler butcher called the butcher. So we have cut and butcher that we use, but nothing inherently is relying on um, chisel square. So that can be gone as well. And most of chisel array relied on all of the code we wrote initially to do the animal head. So before you get too excited, one thing you want to do is after you've deleted a whole bunch of code, make sure that your function still functions. Make sure that your object still behaves. You can go in and start messing with some of the variables and you know, you still want it to look like an actual animal head, right? Um, you can you can really like see, okay, it's still functioning. There's obviously some math that I could finish uh, making parametric, right? Like that's that's off. But for the most part, the function continues to work. Um, so there's nothing, nothing that I'm missing there. And I always go back and I check with each part, you know, where, where it might fail, where I might be calling a variable I didn't imagine. And uh, if that's not the case, then don't worry about it. Right. So everything's still happy. I'm going to go back to our original set. And it'll render just fine. So what you want to do is go and check your notes and say, uh, this module is practice for animal heads, still in work in progress, not fully parametric. I have got some work to do on um, right. And anything that was obvious, like things you needed to consider, you'll write down in your notes. Um, because when you come back to your code, you're going to ask yourself, what was I doing? And rather than having to sift through everything you've written with all these subcategories, uh, you can just check the, the notes that you've had there. And if you hand this project off to someone, those notes will still be present. So the advantage there is you have all the data that you want. So there's our render. It looks just like uh, Animal Head Mark III. In fact, we're going to export this as um, Mark VI. And they're going to look identical next to one another. But that's okay, because we know the processing time takes significantly less time, even though you can hear the fans turn on for the full render here. Um, the advantage is now we can start really adding details in places like the nostrils and the brow ridge, and uh, you know that'll be fun for other facial details that come on later.